I have to tell you, I do agree with Chris right here. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Oscar Ramos. It's been a really rough day for crypto. Forget about the days. It's been weeks and even months of difficult times in the world of cryptocurrencies, specifically DeFi and more specifically for ChronosChainCrypto.com. I mean, I'm talking to all the MMF, Tectonic, VVS Finance and Kronos Army. I know, guys, that I mean, we have seen our prices specifically for the DeFi protocols for Kronos Chain just sideways trading and down. We're not seeing any positive prices. I know. Then you take a look at Crocoin, it's still flat at 2019 cents. Then you take a look at crypto and Bitcoin right now, and it's still under 30,000, 29,000. It's so uncertain, right? That we can go even lower to 22 to 21,000. Maybe we can go a little bit higher, but can be a bull trap. So a lot of people may be losing that energy where they started early 2022 and they're like well what's going on right here i thought it was just gonna go up right well guess what nobody's questioning crypto survival the industry will come back stronger so everybody by the end of this video to all to everybody who's watching but of course the chronos community i'm gonna tell you a couple of things that i'm very bullish about crypto.com and chronos i know what's happening right now there's a lot of bunch of noise out there but if you focus on something like I'm doing with my DeFi staking and my NFTs from Kronos and, you know, different pieces, the elements, essential elements for success later on, I think it always going to come back and you're going to make a lot of money. So don't forget to smash the like button, everybody. Subscribe to the channel and I'm happy to have you back. Stay safe, everybody. So what's going on, guys? Well, I think a couple of the things that we want to know and understand right now is if Bitcoin, right, that Crocoin moves according to what Bitcoin does that we have seen in the past. And Crocoin is a great indicator for what the DeFi protocols from Kronos will do. Well, we need to be waiting for those positives. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what the price of Bitcoin and Kronos is doing right now in just a second. But first, I want us to focus on this because I found something pretty interesting that you really want to know. So the first thing, DeFi Llama, if you have no idea what this is, well, we just track here the total value locked. Basically, the liquidity that you and I as users can deploy in different dApps, decentralized applications from all of these networks, right? You have Ethereum at the top, of course. And you have somewhere at the bottom, you have what? Elden Realm, Polkadot, DeFi, Phantom. You, you probably heard those before. But in number seven, we have Kronos. But take a look at this. Today is May 19, just for reference. Well, I made a video on May 8, later at night. And you can see how, I mean, during May 8, the price of Kronos was already 25 cents. So forget about 40, forget about 50 cents. We're now down. And at this time, May 8, who is number two? Terra Luna. What does that mean? That we hadn't seen the debacle, the horrific time about Terra Luna yet. And you can tell how Terra Luna was way about 20 billion in market cap in, in TBL. And then we have Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Tron, Polygon, Solana, Phantom. And then in number nine, Kronos. But now who are the two missing on top of Kronos? Well, of course, Terra Luna and Phantom. What does that mean? That even at worst times in the market with price, with TBL, with fear, where's Kronos now? Number seven. And back then, number nine what else do you want like what else are you want to see do you want to see to believe that we're going to be fine because we're putting in my opinion non-financial advice everything that i've been saying so far for chronos i believe it i like it i know they spend a lot of money in marketing and advertising don't get me wrong crypto.com loves that however it's working when it comes to DeFi. when it comes to Web3, NFTs, Metaverse, and I'm going to go ahead and show you one tweet that is really good. Permissionless conference. You're going to see it right now. But the bottom line is, even at worst times, even before those worst times were 9, and the TBL was 2.9, you can see it right here, 2.9, right? Well, right now, in worst times for price and fear, we're looking at 2.05. Let this be just a reminder how strong and solid this network is. And I just like it. I'm just letting you know, I think way above in the next bull run, guys, which this is just Kronos Chain, we're easily going to be four 
plus billion TVL. And assuming that Polygon can do a little bit better, we're going to be neck and neck with Polygon, right? I don't really think Waves and Phantom will really pass us at this time. I hope not. Solana is going to be our next contender. Solana is not an easy contender. And then Tron, Avalanche, and you name it. Really, it's going to be a very difficult time to pass Binance Smart Chain. But once we are neck and neck with Binance, Binance Smart Chain, at that point, it's going to be really realistic when it comes to passing Binance Smart Chain by market cap too. So I'm very happy to tell you that even though we're behind Binance Smart Chain on market TVL and on market cap, that's where we're heading. That's where we're heading. And that makes me feel so, so, so happy that I'm buying something that is like a underdog that is not just a garbage underdog right it is an amazing contender to take that spot against Binance Smart Chain because I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to tell you that we're going to be Ethereum I think that's that's really very very hard years from now maybe I don't know if it's even possible but Binance Smart Chain slowly but surely my friend so I just wanted to let you know because this is very important now everybody right when it comes to who are the main actors of you know, providing that TVL, MMF is really what's putting out there the most of the content. Right now, they had one nice NFT collection, which are the Digging Matt Marquettes, and they were pretty much already out, and people lo love them, bought them, everything, so they're always adding more launch pads, so I really like it. When it comes to VBS Finance, they're leading by TVL right now, which is crazy, and Tectonic, really, they haven't sent, uh, they haven't said much on Twitter or social media, just a post on Discord about spam and scams, which is okay, it's normal. Other than that, Kronos chain ecosystem is still acting as it should. We have less than 500 million, uh, when it comes to TVL, we have VVS Finance leading at 865 million. If you put MMO and MMF, you still have less than this, which is okay. VVS Finance adding more partnerships and adding more liquidity pool partners, which is good. And on Tectonic, we still have the 80%, you know, around 80% APY, not bad. That's what I'm earning right here. The prices, I've told you, right? Just consolidating. One of the good news when it comes to the prices, guys, we're not going down anymore. You heard that right? We're not going down anymore. On MMF, on Tectonic, we're getting a little bit a little bit better. I mean, still I see a nice decline in price. We're doing a little bit better. But on MMF, flat. And what does that translate to? Finally, price of Kronos, flat. 19 to 20 cents. And why is that? Flat in quotes, Bitcoin. I mean, you see the stock market going down. Dow Jones a thousand points uh, yesterday was, I mean, right now, of course, down and I mean, 30,000 Bitcoin. We're doing nothing. We're just flat side with trading, of course, gearing up to the next push or drop. But when it comes to Kronos, just 19 cents chilling. And if we go lower, outcomes will go lower. So be ready for more deals along the way. Something very important for us to know. And when it comes to Metaverse and Kronos, everybody, well, right now, day two, today's going to be day three for the permissionless conference that Kronos is attending. And of course, they're telling everybody about Metaverse Gaming, D5 and Web3, which is pretty cool. I'm excited that, you know, they have this type of exposure to everybody in the market. Right now, what we see, some of the tokens that are, you know, the most traded around. And we are seeing, of course, MMF as, as usual, Grab Crow, Savannah Finance basically around the MMF ecosystem, VVS, and you see some tectonic there, dark crypto and more. And some of the, you know, the ROI percentage of the, of the top blockchains, there it is, um, Kronos ecosystem number two. Number one, we have Phantom. So that's why Phantom, you know, went down, but it can always, you know, kind of come back up as usual. So very excited for what's happening for Kronos. I understand that we are seeing super garbage rough times in the world of crypto and just kind of sideways trading but after all everybody i think we're gonna do fantastic slowly but surely wins the game chronos ecosystem just steady if you want to be buying i know a lot of people have been telling me on my comments that they're adding to the croco positions some of them reach 100,000, 10,000 crow what is your objective let me know in the comments down below great job chronos team i'm pretty happy Gotta continue, everybody. Go ahead and slash, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.